Alrighty, well, Marty, everybody, and once again, it's cast time. And, um, and let me intro this music real quick. Or, let me, let me kill a few windows here real fast. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let me get rid of this one here. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, intro this music. Um, it's gonna be disquieting, empty throne amongst the stars. Um, technically this music's considered dungeon synth, but it, it sounds like this one here is kind of, it's more, more all over the place. It just, I mean, it, it's pretty synthy, but isn't really that dungeon-y, so if you, if you can visualize that. A second, we got a problem. Ah, uh, full screen. Okay, there we go. There we go. I wasn't seeing the uh, the timer running down here. Kind of a nitpick, but there it is. But otherwise for um otherwise for today, like usual, I started off with my pinball stream. And um overall it basically went about average. Uh the when it started up, uh, FX3 was crashing, arcade was crashing, so I think for about about a half hour, forty five minutes I was forced to play Zachariah. So but um after that I just I just went ahead and just said fuck it. Um I decided to go ahead and uh, reinstall my uh, graphics card drivers uh, or I killed the stream reinstalled the graphics card drivers restarted my computer and then got my stream back up and running and but after that it everything worked um, FX3 worked but it was flickering so I got up but it, like I like I said the uh, the session itself it it went okay like um, FX3 I don't I don't think I won any tournaments and uh, otherwise, I was pretty much all over the place as far as the rankings go. Um, got high ranks on some of them. Got pretty low ranks on some others. Uh, Pinball Arcade, it I think it went okay. I'm trying to remember, I got kind of a kind of a memory leak here. If that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I think uh, Pinball Arcade it went okay. Um, what about average on that too? Um, one thing that did happen though was just before I was about to shut down, one of my viewers came out and said, "Hey Joe, did you? Hey Joe, have you done the uh, arcade tournament?" Which duh, duh, I mean, did not know that. So I just went, uh, checked it out, found it up. I have about a day left before the tournament ends. I it totally slipped my mind. Um, this is the uh, it's the pinball arcade silver tournament. Like, uh, I took first on the bronze one, and so I qualified for the, uh, silver one. Well, um, unfortunately, I did it off-stream. Uh, did what I could, but, uh, eventually, I took first. But not by much. Like, uh, it's, I think it's still a close race between first and second, so... Throughout the night, I've been, um, I've been uh, doing that. There is... I think the way the tournaments work in Pinball Arcade is, uh... You're given six tables to play with, but um, each one of them has a 15-minute time limit. So, um, so I've just been doing that. So there's a, there's actually kind of an upside to this. Um, unlike unlike FX3, where if you um, if you bail out of a table, that uh, it counts as zero. You be, it, it counts as a loss. In a pinball arcade, you can repeat a table as many times you want, but uh, you have to. I mean, the best score you the best score on each table is 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 what's um is what's added to your total. So you want to play all the tables at least once to to get the best score. But uh, even then, 
and in each one of those tables, only your best score counts. And again, you can uh, there's uh, there's unlimited attempts. So it isn't like some tournaments on Epic Three where, where some there are some that have unlimited chances, but there's others where you only get one chance, three chances, five chances, ten, etc. Um, in Pinball Arcade, you have infinite infinite chances. So what I've been doing is uh, if the first ball don't go my way, but like drains immediately, I just restart. I just restart it. Or if there was uh, if something went horribly wrong to where there's no way I'd be able to get a good score on this table. Just shit can the attempt and start over. So. But but like I said, um, eventually I did wind up taking first place in the tournament. But we still have tomorrow yet, though. I believe it ends. Uh, I think it ends tomorrow at midnight. So if I can remember to. Tomorrow on my uh, on my stream, I'll go ahead and just start working on the tournament, or I'll start streaming the tournament. Is it just me or do it? No, still running. I thought maybe the music froze up. Sure ain't a whole lot to this music. And uh, I'm listening to... I kind of... I gave about half of this album a once-over. But no, it was actually... Uh, like I said, it's like... It's technically dungeon synth, but... There's uh, a whole bunch of other influences thrown in. Uh, I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. Uh, but otherwise, I I played some more Gems of War. Um, didn't play it for very long, though. Yeah, I just played it for just, I'd probably say, maybe about an hour at the most. So, but again, mostly, uh, mostly PvP on there. I just, I find it more challenging than the, um, the PvE stuff. It just real grindy. There we go. We're getting some music. Of course, it would probably also help if I actually turned it up from my end, like in my headphones. There we go. Much better. So, um, but uh, one other thing that I did too is um, um, it it totally slipped my mind. A new um, uh, a new Amoeba Records video came out. Uh, for those that don't know, um, Amoeba Records is a YouTube channel. It's based on it's based on the record store that I believe is located in San Francisco, maybe Los Angeles, maybe there's other locations. But uh, in this one location, they will often have uh, they'll often have music artists. They'll uh, they'll follow them around with a camera and stuff, and they'll they'll go through the store. They'll I. I think they have a, a $200 budget. I think that's what it is. They're given $200 to spend on buying whatever they want in their store. And, and again, Mr. Camera Person will follow them around, you know, watching them pick and choose. And then um, afterwards, they'll interview them. Um, having them, you know... It, it, the series is called What's in My Bag. Like, they're given an uh, Amoeba Records bag, and they'll... Again, the I think it's a $200 budget. They'll go out and buy records and fill up the bag with, and then they'll sit on the couch, and then they'll get interviewed afterwards, showing them the records that they bought and why. But uh, for a while, because of COVID, I didn't care for it because they all, they had a what's in my bag at home, which I, I'm, I would like to think that the way they would do it is they would, uh, they would spend up to $200 online, like, one of the records online. I'd really like to think that that's what they did. Um, if not, then that just gives me an even bigger reason to not want to watch this shit. You know, because the few times that I actually watch this, it's like... No, wait a minute. I'm kind of racking my brain here. 
Yeah, I yeah, I I think that's what they did. There were a there were a few artists. It's like um it's like it's like they had a whole shit ton of records all in their living room. So I thought so a little bit of showing off there. But there were uh, there were others that had like no records around them at all, like none in their room at all. All they had was just their amoeba bag. So yeah, I I think that's how they do it. But I, there's a yeah, but on a, on a few of those at home episodes, I detected some arrogance. Look at my collection; that's way bigger than yours. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. You know, just showing off. So, but uh, but yeah, but like I like I said, there were other art. There were other artists of the few that I actually watched. I think mean, I don't know the name of the band, but he was uh, outside of his log cabin. Log cabin. He had the you know the bag with all the records that he ordered online. So, but yeah. Anyway, anyway, getting back to what I was originally talking about, there um. Now that the uh, COVID restrictions have pretty much been lifted. They're uh, they're going back into the store now and just buying the stuff in person. But anyway, like like I said, just basically I've been binge watching a lot of these because again for the longest time I didn't it never really crossed my mind probably because uh, I never had any episodes on my YouTube recommendations. But one 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 popped up, um, and for the most part, oh what was it? The Regrets was one band. Moonchild was another. Lady Ray, I think, was another. But, yeah, mo for the most part, um, a lot of the stuff they were picking, I, it just, it, it'd be the kind of music that pretty much would have went in one eye and out the, or one ear, one ear and out the other. Just, like, just R&B, basically, or, hippie-ish type music. Oh, uh, Lucius. That was another band I was watching. But it just... Most... And, and I think a good chunk of the stuff on there was probably stuff that I've heard at work, too. So, it... Probably even... I'd have even less emotional investment in this kind of music. Like I said, I probably heard it. I probably heard it at various jobs over the years. So... Not really much of an, you know. Whereas, I'm more into, I'm into the more obscure stuff now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, I am gonna have to turn it down a little. But like I said, most of the picks that the um, most of the picks that all these artists were um were grabbing were just basically the uh, tip of the iceberg type music. Maybe in the skies above, it's just stuff I don't really care for anymore. And I've I've said it numerous times in all my other casts. I guess I'll say it here, but like my but to quote my to quote Miles Davis, I'm not there anymore. It's not that. It's not that I'm. It's not that I'm not saying that they're bad choices. It's just. Again, I ain't there anymore. I'm. I I pretty much reside, more towards the bottom of the iceberg, kind of, kind of in the middle. Like I'm not quite down to the bottom yet. That kind of music. It. I can't help but think that that's the kind of music you get into just to impress your friends. Look at me. I'm diverse. Hey, check! Hey, check out this music I got of of some person farting into a trumpet, or you know, or something like that, you know. So, but like, but you know, it's it was good. It was good to watch some more uh, Amoeba videos again, though. One thing I do like about them is, uh, to in all fairness, they too are actually heading for like the more obscure music. Like they're not going for no fucking. Eagles greatest hits or anything like that. I mean, if I saw that, you're you're off my artistic roll call. Yeah, that to me that shit's unforgivable. I mean, you already you know that kind of music. You know, Eagles greatest hits. 
uh, Whitney Houston greatest hits, Celine Dion, or the essential Celine Dion, that kind of shit. I mean, if you're buying that kind of music, then yeah, I, I, I really don't care to know you. It's as snobby as that might sound. I mean, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta listen to no otters breaking clamshells off of rocks music or anything like that, but. The, the essential eagles. I mean that. No, just no. No. You know, Taylor Swift greatest hits. No. No. It. Like surely you can do better than that. I'm kind of listening to this music as well. Uh, but otherwise, otherwise, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, I pretty much said all the things I wanted. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, before I forget, uh, this coming Saturday, there is going to be a good chance that there won't be a stream. I've got, um, I've got family stuff that, uh, they want me to, they want me to attend to. There's, like, a big shindig going on. I think, uh, one of my nephews, it's his 21st birthday. I think it's also his, uh, graduation ceremony, which, I mean, he still hasn't graduated high school? Unless they mean college or something. I don't know, but it just... Yeah, I I got I got an invite, so so yeah. There's again, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a pretty good chance that uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday, um, I won't be streaming. Oh, they're having their they're having their ceremony right when my stream starts, like right around two thirty p.m. So so yeah. Okay, there. Okay, now I've said everything that I wanted to say. So. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, which will be my last one for the week. So, But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.